my friends welcome back to 200 3d cat models in FreeCAD series today i am working on exercise 54 exercise 54 is simple it will be a two sketch job and looking at the image i want to start from xy plan as usual however on xy I don't have much thing to actually work on it will be a straight rectangular sketch so what I want to do I want to place my axis cross right there all right and I want to draw my first sketch for this one I just want to go from here to there to trim away my excess using constraint preserving fillets now look at that this length is 40 and this radius is 30 so we will have something left over there we'll just go with 30 40 so that constrains everything and that's a pretty simple i want to pull it up by 20. all right so that's my first sketch uh, i got this base done now what i want to do i want to build a sketch on this face which will be okay let me make sure i see it correct which will be x z plane and i want to use the image to help me out let me go ahead and place it on xz plane right and does look weird there okay i want to relocate from front now it looks better i want to relocate it to there and let's look at our axis cross again axis cross is right where i want it to be right now i want to draw a sketch on xz plane and i want to hide this extrusion i don't need that i want to build the sketch all the way up because uh, i planned it that way so i'm gonna go with just like this all the way up make an arc straight line right make another arc i could probably go half yeah i could probably go half there right and bring it back here nope yeah I'll probably make it here right Uh, right and awesome so this is vertical this will be vertical as well take this one out and somehow they got detached okay i want to place this on this line and I want to place these two. They are on this line, so all right. Now I want to make this one horizontal. Everything else look good. So this length is 50. I'm gonna pin everything down now. And this height is 30. This we don't know we didn't we don't need to know this is radius 15 right this is radius 25 the inside one is radius 20 and that constrains everything all right so there is my sketch actually i want to go back and work on this hole as well it's much simpler to work on it right now 
And this is five. Was it five? Yes. All right. Now let's see which way I want to go. So I got that one and I want to build it back by 20. So this is facing me now. I want to push it back. So obviously it will be reversed. Apply close there. So that's why I actually chose uh, that axis cross right in the middle of that. That way, uh, you know, it, not that it matters a lot. I, it would be really important if it was in part design workbench. But anyway, I just made things easier. I want to mirror this against YZ. So let's go ahead, pick YZ and there. So find these two, actually make all those three a fusion and rename that to the final object. And that's it. That's my final object. Just like it was advertised on the TV, we got our product built. I want to refine it as my final part. Pretty awesome. Hey, let me show you one thing. I can select the whole thing, right? And come here and say select all edges and make a minimum 0.5 fillet all around. And that just make it look good. Although it's a, it's an issue um, when I, I plan to build the technical drawing. So if I'm building the technical drawing, I'm obviously deleting the fillet but it just overall takes the all all the sharp edges away and make it look like you know a professionally built object and that's all for this i hope you enjoyed this process i will see you in the next video thank you for watching bye